So I often refer to Toni Morrison who has said, if there's a story that you want to read and you can't find it, write it. And I think uh, that was certainly the case for me with this novel. I was just fascinated by the 1960s, that era, my parents' era, when my parents met. I was fascinated by, you know, my parents, my father's Nigerian, my mother's British, which is similar to the story and that's where the similarities end. Um, and it was an era of civil rights, independence movements, feminism, and I really wanted to read a love story that was set in that decade. So, yeah. What did you hope the audience would take from independence as a novel? So I think as a writer, I, when I hear a question like that, I just defer to the audience or I defer to the reader. Um, you know, you write a story and I have my own thoughts as I'm writing it. But then part of the magic is when the reader comes to it and they bring their own thoughts. And it's really fun as well for a writer sometimes to hear different people's interpretations. So I won't give away the ending of the book, but one of the interpretations that I heard from a reader that you've read the book so you'll get it, that just made me laugh was they said, so I won't say what happens at the end of the story, but at the end of the story, there are two people sitting on a bench somewhere in Oxford. And the interpretation of this reader was that these two people froze to death. Oh my God. And that was definitely not on my mind. <laughs> that's one way. But that's one that's way one to look at it. That's interpretation. So yeah. Oh my, wow, okay. That could be a romantic ending oh, in a no. kind of tragic way. That would be a total tragedy. I could, yeah, but I, I could, I can see where they're kind of going Titanic with that. But I, yeah, I can see that. Um, Tyler's a stranger to Oxford and Vanessa to Badon, but they both come, but they both form strong opinions about each place. Do you think being an outsider allows for honest judgment about culture? So I, I probably wouldn't say honest judgment, but I would say the advantage of being an, an outsider is that you have perspective. You're not fully immersed in a particular culture and a place. So it does allow for objectivity. Um, and yeah, I, I think as a writer, I'm always interested in different, different ways of seeing things and different ways of being seen. <laughs>